So you have an event coming up and you need a brochure to give your guests. Well, today in this video, we're going to be designing our very own brochure using Adobe Photoshop. Brochures are printed documents that give information about your event and they also allow your guests to follow along with what's going on at your event. So for the brochure that we're going to be designing today, we're just going to have some basic information on it like the title of our event and the date and the time and also the location. We can also break down what's going to be happening at the event. You know, for example, the speakers or presenters and on that brochure, we can have photos of the presenters. We can have their social media handles and you can also have a brief information about who they are. So the attendees at your event know who is speaking to them or presenting to them. And before you start designing your brochure, you want to make sure that you know the size of the brochure that you're designing. So even if you get hired to design a brochure, you want to make sure that you ask your client, what size will the brochure be? Do you want a trifold or bifold brochure, meaning it folds twice or it folds three times? Or do you want a brochure that is just on a single sheet of paper? And once you've gotten all those questions answered, then you can go ahead and start designing. So here we have Adobe Photoshop opened and we're just going to go ahead and hit create new. And the size of the brochure that we're making today, we're going to be making a bifold, meaning it folds open. It folds open like this, like a, like a book, right? So it has two sides. And we want both those sides to be about four inches wide by 8.5 inches high, right? And we're leaving our resolution at 300 and everything else pretty standard, right? And we're just going to go ahead and hit create. I'm just going to go ahead and hit file, save as, and I'm just going to name it LSPV brochure tutorial. Right, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit save and then I can start creating. And what I want is we're going to be designing it by fold, meaning it opens like a book, as I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to have um, a couple groups in here in my Photoshop document. One of the groups is going to be named like left and the right side. And I'm going to have two more groups that are called front and back, right? for the outside of the fold and the inside of the fold when you open it like a book, right? So let me just go ahead and start typing. We're just gonna keep it pretty simple and straightforward because I just really want you guys to grasp the principle and see the power that you have in designing a brochure, right? So let me go ahead and bring in an image. This is going to be like the front of the brochure, like when you hand it to someone, this is what they're going to see. So I'm just going to bring in an image that I got from Envato Elements. Um, you guys know I use Envato Elements. If you didn't, then now you know you can follow that link in the description and you can get this exact image from Envato as well if you want to design with me. And the, the idea that I had today for this um, brochure is like a business type conference. So I'm just going to go ahead and click T on my keyboard for my type tool and I'm just going to type like I'm just going to give it a name like let's just name it business conference no that's too generic right let's name it um the digital business let me just make Photoshop full screen here all right and then zoom in so you guys can see that and we make that bigger the digital business or digital business. Oops, one S digital business. And let me go ahead and um, use a guide layout. That way my design isn't too close to the edges, right? And I have some kind of uniformity in my design. Let me go ahead and hit view, then new guide layout. And you can adjust these values here to um, change where the guides are on your document, right? And I want my marginal guides to be 100 pixels, not 99. So I'm just going to change this to 100 for everything, right? Okay, zoom out and see what we have. That's pretty cool, right? Now I can let everything stay within these guides. So about there, 
let me just duplicate this text layer control and a J and drag it down and then let's call it um, a virtual or virtual conference because we're in the age of everything being virtual now right all right and let's just change the color to like blue The blue worked fine. What do you guys think so far? <laughs> Pretty cool front cover, right? And if I wanted to, I can just go ahead and group all of these by selecting them in my layers here. Control and a G for the group. And let's just call this front, right? Because this is going to be the front of our brochure, right? When you hand this to someone, this is the first thing they're going to see, right? So let's go ahead and just name it front. And let me change the virtual conference to maybe red. That looks better. And if I want it, I can also go ahead and edit the image to let the blue pop out more or just turn it black and white so the text really pops. But I like the blue of the sky, so let's continue, right? Let's just make the title of the conference a bit bigger. Let's just control and T to transform. And let's just drag it like really big. And I probably want to just align the text in the center. And then let me just drag it over here in the center. That looks better. That looks really cool. I think that's what I want. Let me just make digital business a bit bigger. And then maybe make virtual conference a bit smaller. I'm just hitting control and T to get my control options. And then I'm just like decreasing the percentages up top here, right here. Just decreasing these percentages. Let me show you. And it will let my text get smaller, right? That seems about right. And then, what I, let me just change this to black and see what it looks like. That works too. That also works. Control and S to save. And then we're clicking OK. And that's the front. If we turn this off, this is what we have, right? Pretty cool. And then, if I wanted to, let me just go ahead and work on the back of this. Um, brochure but let me put like a logo here on the front let's just design a quick logo or something that can re represent a logo that can go above the digital business right let's just write db plus and just put it up top or let's put it within a square we're hitting u on our keyboard to get our shape tool i'm just going to drag out a square or a rectangle something that fits it and i don't want it to have that red fill so let me just go over to my properties tab turn off the red fill you can also do it up top here and then let me just change this stroke to black it should already be black and then let me make the stroke about 10 or maybe 20. not so much 15. and then let's just align them both by selecting them and then coming up top to align the horizontal and vertical centers. And let me go ahead and hit Control and G to group them. And just let's just name it DB Plus logo, right? Digital Business logo. That's the logo that the conference uses. And let's make it a little bit smaller by hitting Control and T for our transform options. And then just reducing the percentage size and then just dragging it over because i reduced the size of the db plus the stroke is still 15 pixels so now i can decrease it to about 10 pixels right and just drag the closer group and drag the virtual conference and the digital business down so uh, that looks good let me decrease the space between the digital and the business this space right here let me just select everything and just decrease that a bit right here right move the virtual conference up and i'm really liking how this is looking really liking how this is looking let's just turn the guides off and see what we have but yeah that's pretty cool control and s to save now we can go ahead and design the back of this brochure right and i don't think i want to have an image on the back let me just go ahead and copy the db plus 
logo control and j to duplicate that bring it out of the group out of the front group and i also want the digital business do i want the entire thing mm. yes let's keep the entire name on the back as well let's duplicate that all right now i have that let me just select all of them and put it in a group Control and G on my keyboard. Let's name it back and then let's turn off the front group Let's see what we have. This is what we have This is what the back will look like and it has the white from the background layer right here That's fine. Now. I'm just going to size all of this down to make it much smaller Let me just turn my guides back on Control and a semicolon here and then I'm just going to size this down to about 60% right put it in the middle in the middle of this sheet here Ooh, That's cool. It doesn't have to doesn't have to be perfect And then what I want to write is I just want to write a little printing tagline like print Printed by let's just say learn share printers ink because printers ink, right? <laughs> And let's just size it down really small. And let's just like write it in black, right? And then that looks good. That looks good, right? And let's also put on the front like where the conference is being held, right? Do we want to do that? Mm. Or let's write the name, virtual conference, the date, or sorry, the year, virtual conference 2021, right? That's cool. Now let's just add that to the back as well. Virtual conference 2021. And I just changed from back to front, the back design to the front design by just turning off the group, right? So I have the back on right now, turn it off, turn on the front. That's how I'm moving between the two designs, right? All right, control and S to save. Now what I can do is I can create another group or start adding elements that will have the inside fold and the left and right side of the inside fold, right? Because remember, our brochure that we're designing today is like a book, right? A bifold. All right, let's continue. We're moving on to the inside of our brochure, right? As I mentioned earlier, and I just want to have like, firstly, the order of events, what will be happening here. Maybe I want to like have the DB plus logo. Let's just copy that from the back. Um, Control and J to duplicate that. Let's drag it outside of the back group. And then let's hit Control and G to put that in another group. And then let's call that like left. Left, yeah, this will be on the left fold of our brochure, right? Oops, left, all right. And then this is going to be up top here. And then what we can do now is start like writing what will be happening, or we can give like a brief history of the DB plus conference, right? The digital conference. All right. So let's write about, about the DB plus, like about the organization DB plus, right? Or let's write a brief history. A brief is that how you spell brief as in a short? Oh, it doesn't matter. A brief history of DB plus, right? Let's change this to black. Wait, is it black? It should be red, right? No, it should be red. Let's go back. Control and Z to undo to get back what I had before. And then let's just size this down some to about there. And then I'm just going to use some placeholder text by hitting T on my keyboard for my type tool and then just drawing a text box and Photoshop will automatically populate this text box for me with placeholder text, right? All right, there it is. And I want to align the text, um, justify it centered like that. So when it's printed, like everything will be like organized in the middle, right? And this I want to turn to black for sure, right? That's how it would look. Let's turn the guides off, control and semicolon. 
right? And now we can have like order of events, right? So you've given your guests a brief history of the organization and the conference, but maybe we should do one of the conference and the organization because DB Plus is the organization, the conference is digital conference. But it doesn't matter, you guys get the idea, right? You can always add another text box or add some more text if you want to like give your guests that brief history or whatever other information you want to lay out for your attendees, right? I just duplicated a brief history here by hitting Control and J. And then what I'm doing next is I'm just, just giving it some space here and then just, just change this to order of events or schedule, schedule event schedule or conference schedule, right? And then let's duplicate the, let's turn the guys back on. Let's see what we have here, control and the semicolon. And I can just duplicate this text or I can just start writing some text, right? So let me just start by writing um, doors open. Let me use regular sentence case. Doors open, right? Well, actually, let me change it to all caps by coming over here to type options and clicking the capitalize. And then let me change the color to black and let me capitalize the history text up here as well. Capitalize here. I'm just clicking these two T's over here under my type options right here. And it will automatically capitalize it for me. And let's go back and move on. We're at doors open. Let's just say one, two, three, four, five. I'm just using tab to like give some tab space on my keyboard. Let's say 8 a.m., right? 8 a.m. Let's say, what else, what else? Wait, let's not do it that way. Let's not use the tab, right? Let me just delete this. Let me write doors open, space. What's the next thing that would happen in a conference? Um, refreshments or breakfast? <laughs> yeah, let's use breakfast since it's a morning conference. Breakfast, let's say it's an all day thing, right? Like from eight to five, like a regular work day breakfast um speak let's say breakfast and then speaker one or discussion one or panel one right let's say panel one panel one can be what panel one can be whatever you want it to be right um uh, panel one with speaker one or let's say panel one And let's give the, 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 the speaker a name, right? Let's say it's like Tony Stark Iron Man that's speaking, right? And then let's do panel two. Or not panel, let's say presentation. Presentation. And let's say presentation two. Um, still Tony Stark or let's just say yeah let's just say um, somebody else because I'm just gonna use like two photos for our two speakers right let's change it from Tony Stark to um, what's her name Natasha Romanoff all right and let's make the Tony Stark smaller than the um, the presentation one let's make it about 10 right all right that's cool let me see what that looks like pretty cool right let me just bring the doors open closer all right see that pink arrow is telling me that it's the same space between the conference schedule and the doors open as the brief history and the placeholder text right and then let's continue oops let's make this bring this back to 14 and then let's say lunch and then what else do we have after lunch like q a session yeah like a question and answer section right session all right q plus a session and it's tony and natasha let's say tony stark 
and the Natasha Romana. Let's say with these two, right? Let's change it to 10. All right. Or just let, let's just take off the width and just write their names. And that's pretty much it. I don't want to get like too technical, right? Um, now I can just align all of this like to the left. And then you see what I have here. And I want to put the times over on this side, right? So let me go ahead and just size this down by hitting Control and T. And let me just size it down to about like 80% where it fits. And let me duplicate it by hitting Control and J. And then align it to the right. That way I can just change this and write the times right here, right? So this will be 8 a.m. Enter. This will be, let's say breakfast is like, like as you come in, breakfast is served, right? Oops. Let's say breakfast is 8.15, 8.15 a.m. Let's say Tony presents at, let me just delete all of this. Tony presents at, how long do we want to give them to work first? Like half an hour? All right, let's say 8.45 a.m. Enter. And let's say, Tony has an hour, let's say 9.45 a.m. Or let's say, let's just say 10, all right? 10 a.m. Lunch is at what? Um, 12. 12 noon. All right, and I think what's happening here, why it's not aligned is because I had a, I sized down the Tony Stark, right? So what I can do is I can just like highlight right here and size it down to like, what size was this? Let me just check. This was it, all right, cool. I'm just size down this space to it and it should align. Do the same thing here. It, right? All right, and then let's just say Q&A session is like, let's give an hour for lunch, so maybe 1 p.m. So our session isn't like the entire day like I assumed it would be, but you guys get the idea, right? And then let's just bring it over a little bit more, and then let's just space it about one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'm just using V for my move tool, and then I'm using shift and my arrow keys to just like move it over to the left or right, right? And then what I can do next is I can just select both of them and just like align it to the center of my document, which is about here, right? How does that look? Mm, how does that look? How does that look? Maybe I can make this smaller or put the Tony Stark above the Romanov. That way I can get both of them in the center and it looks more organized, right? How does that look? Oops, yeah. How does that look? That works for me for the purposes of this tutorial and then I can just move it up, right? That looks good, right? And what I can do now is I can just write, I can just put a picture of like our Tony Stark here with a brief history of, not brief history, just like a quick like introduction paragraph of who Tony Stark is and then the same thing for Natasha Romanoff here or two speakers, right? Control and S to save. Always remember to save your project. And then let's just duplicate the conference schedule text, Control and J. And let's just write, um, let's just put right here, um, meet your presenters right that's pretty cool uh i mean you can get way more you can get way way more creative than this this is just like minimum the minimal amount of effort you'll put in right i'm just showing you how to like get it get it like done properly i mean we can really style it up afterwards but Let's just stick to the basics for now. And for 
yeah, let's stick to the basics. I'm just going to add a photo here and I have it in my folder. Um, let me just come onto a full screen, drag in my folder here, my photo here. <laughs> and then let me drag in Natasha's in the meantime. And let me just turn that off until I'm ready for it. And then I'm going to put Tony's photo in a little like rounded rectangle. Turn my guides on, control and semicolon, and whatever I am doing should not go beyond my guides, right? Control and T for the control options. And let me just size it down. And then I just want to draw my rectangle by hitting U on my keyboard for my shape tool. And then just drawing a rectangle here, right? And then these four circles that you see here, these four dots in the corners, if you were to click and drag like that, then it just round up the edges for you. See that? Pretty cool, right? And then what I'm going to do is put this underneath Tony's photo in my layers. Let me just rename this to Tony. Tony Stark. I don't, I'm just double clicking on it in my photo, in my layers, and just renaming the layer. And I'm doing the same for Natasha double clicking and renaming her Natasha Romanov, right? That way, when you look in your layers, you know what you're looking at and you know where each element is, right? Then I'm going to put Tony above the rectangle in my layers. And then I'm going to right click on Tony and hit create clipping mask. And that will clip his image to whatever is underneath it in the layer stack, right? And it's going to clip it to the rectangle, whatever shape it was, it would have just made Tony's image into that shape, right? And then Control and T to see how much room I have. I have all this room here underneath in the photo so I can just size it down a bit so it fits better within the shape. And then I can just hit my arrow keys over to the left to just like center it to what looks more pleasing to the eye, right? You can also do this by hitting your type tool options on the keyboard by hitting T and you'll get the options up top here and you just hit the drop down and change it from whatever weight you want to the new weight that you desire, right? Tony Stark, let's change, let's keep the Tony Stark bold as is, let's change the placeholder text to um book, wait, that's not it, is it? No, it's right here, right here, yeah, let's change that to book. And then let's see what we have much better, much more organized in terms of um, the weight of the text, right? Let's change this also to like all caps and see what it looks like. Oh, let me turn off hyphenate paragraph. I, I'm just going to like paragraph here. I can go over here on my properties tab and just like turn off what I don't want, right? but you can also do it here. If you don't have the paragraph toolbar here, you can go to window and then just look for a paragraph here and I can turn off hyphenate and that will stop it from like hyphenating the text. Look right here, look, so, look, what, look what's happening here, right? Hyphenated, non-hyphenated, right? Let's see what we have. Let's do it for the top one as well. Turn off hyphenation, let's change that. Mm, yeah, that looks good, but that looks good in the center. This one we can keep aligned to the left so it looks more uniform, right? And then let's probably take this as sentence case and not all caps, right? Let's do the same for all of this information right here. Let's do sentence case and not all caps. Is it working? Why is it not working for all of this? Uh, well, let's leave it for now since it's not working. <laughs> all right, how does this look to you guys? How does this look? I really like this. I really like this. Control and S to save. Now, first of all, let me organize like all of this information here. It's all too jumbled in my layers, right? 
Let's go ahead and find conference schedule. The doors open at the 8 a.m. All the times, and let's just group that control and G, and just let's just call that group conference schedule, right? Because that's what it is. And then let's find the BB Plus logo, a brief history, and the placeholder text control and G, and just name that a brief history, right? All right, control and it's the save. And then we have meet your presenters. That's all we have left. And this just group everything related to Tony as Tony Stark. Control and G to group and let's just name it Tony, right? Let's turn it off and see what we have. Perfect. Now let's find the rectangle in our Tony group. But first let's save our project Control and S to save. And then let's find the rectangle. It's right here. And let's just add a stroke, right? It's the same red stroke. And then let's just select this box right here. That's telling us how we want the stroke. It's letting us decide how we want the stroke, right? Right now the stroke is centered, but I want the stroke to be on the outside. That way I can see it. And let me just increase the weight of the stroke to about 10 pixels, maybe five. Let's zoom out and see what it looks like. Mm, maybe 10 is good. Yeah, 10 is good. Let's work with 10. Control and S to save, right? And that's our left side. Let's go ahead and turn it off and see what we have. And let's see the back, front. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. What do you guys think so far? Let me know in the comments below. And what I think I want to do next is naturally design the right side. And on the right side, we'll have the brief information for Natasha will be on that side. And then we can close out the um, the, 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 the brochure, the program, the order of events, all the information that we want to put into our brochure we can just close it off by just like, we'll have Natasha's information. Let's just write like a little thank you message. And then we're basically, that's basically it. That's all you have to really do for a simple and straightforward design like this, right? You can also add more things if you want, but I'm just giving you guys a general idea of what you are able to do using Photoshop, right? Let's go ahead and duplicate the Tony group, Control and J. Let me bring it outside of the left group because I'm just going to use it for Natasha as well. And I'm just going to clip Natasha's photo to the shape that Tony's photo is clipped to by turning on Natasha's image and dragging it right where Tony's image is. And then I'm just going to hit Control and wait. Let me delete Tony's image. And then I can see Natasha's image here. Let me just drag it down until she is centered and then let me just size her down a bit that looks good let's change her name from tony to natasha romanoff why am i still seeing tony because the left side is still on <laughs> and then let's oops let me drag that natasha over perfect let's change our instagram handle to black widow business <laughs> and the placeholder text can remain the same right all right let's just put let's just collapse this group name it natasha and then let's put that group within another group and call it right because it's the right side of our fold, right? All right, control and S to save. And because Tony's photo was down here on the bottom, on the left side, in reading and continuing, Natasha's will be the first thing on the right side, right? So let's drag her image up to the top by clicking on it, her group, and just dragging it up to the top like so, right? That's pretty good. Control and S to save. And then we can just have like a thank you message right underneath here. And 
a little thing that says keep up with db plus and the conference on instagram you know usual stuff so let's go ahead and write thank you let me just use a text that we had before let's use the conference schedule text or, or let me, let's use a brief history so i'm just going to copy a brief history again Control and j bring it up into the right group collapse the left group and then just turn off the left group right and then let's turn natasha's photo back on and then we can just move the brief history down but let's just let the let's move natasha first let's move the brief history and the heading down but let's keep the db plus logo up top or maybe we don't have to because it's already on the left side right so let's move natasha's image back up uh, pretty cool and then let's move the brief history up a little bit oops and let's just change this to thank you and i can just let the placeholder text remain as is let's look at the left side one more time mm. right side that's pretty cool what do you guys think and let's just write another let's just use another paragraph here or extend this one right because we're writing a whole lot here to say thank you <laughs> all right just to like fill up the space if you're designing this you can use the space to like add anything else right it doesn't have to be like oh thank you whatever content your client needs to add or wants you to add um you just use the space wisely, right? Uh, that looks good. And then let's just write a little line that says like, or let's just use an Instagram icon. Let's copy this from Natasha. Let's find the Instagram icon and the line with the handle, Control and J to duplicate them and then just drag it up, right? And then we're just gonna drag it down on the design um, to about here we're just gonna say like at db plus con at db plus conference right let's make it a little bigger bring it in the center all right that's good follow let's write let's make this text bigger follow digital conference or let's say tag us in your photos no let's just say follow digital conference on instagram all right all right align that to the center let's make it smaller so it can all fit in one line all right, and then let's move the handle up and make it smaller. And that works, right? So you see you ha already have your left side, your right side, your outside, and your front and back, right? Let's see what we have on the left and the right. What else could we add to this? Let's not overthink it. Let's just keep it simple. Um, you guys already got the, 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 the concept and the principles, and I'm sure you're ready to design <laughs> your own brochures, right? What do you think so far? What do you guys think? I'm wondering if I should add that photo of the building here. What do you guys think? I don't want to take away from the, um, the design. I really like this outside cover, right? Let's just keep the inside as plain as possible. That way all our text is readable. But if you also wanted, you can just like add an image behind all of this text here, obviously. But for the purposes of this tutorial, let's just keep it plain, right? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Now I'm going to just save each of these designs. 
each of these groups as its own jpeg image and then i'm just going to use it in a mock-up to like show the client how her print how their printed brochure would look right all right so control and s to save now i'm just going to hit control alt and s to save and i'm just going to name this one um front because the front group is on then just change it to a jpeg in the save as type line right pretty cool and then back control alt and s let's name it back and then go down and change that to jpeg and then we're just repeating through the process for the left side right left jpeg okay right i feel like i want something else on this right side but uh, let's just keep it like this for now <laughs> Control alt and s and let's just name it right side jpeg right all right now let me just go ahead and open my mockup all right i have my mockup here in my folder all right, and what this mockup will do is, I believe it will show me, I believe this is the front right here. It will show me the front of my design here, as well as the inside here, right? Let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to find it here in the layers, looking for front side, right? That's it right there. I must need to go to my folder, find the front, drag it in on this layer make it a bit bigger hmm. let's just i'm just stretching it so it fits the mock-up right so there's no white space all right let's do 320 percent that way i know i just increase everything else the, the 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 back the left inside and the right inside by that same amount of percentage right and look at that there it is right all right let's see page b page b looks like the right side let's drag it in increase it by 320 percent control and s let's close this close this there it is and let's do page a which is the left side and then let's drag in the left side and then increase it by 320%. And let's align this, right? Cool. And that's what we have so far. We don't have we don't have any um any need for the back design in this particular mock-up, but this is what it would look like. You can present this to your client. You can just save this. Let's just go ahead and save this. Let me just save this mock-up as like, this is so cool. <laughs> let's let's um, save this. And remember, all we did here today is bare minimum. You can get really, really creative with designing this um, brochure. But I just want to show you guys like the basic principles and show you the powerful tools that you have at your disposal using Adobe Photoshop as per usual, right? So let me go ahead and just save this mockup as LSPV brochure tutorial mockup, right? All right, save it. Wait, I want to save it as a JPEG. Control Alt and S. All right, change the save as that to JPEG and click save, right? This is what we made. What do you guys think? what do you guys think i love this um front cover with the, the 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 picture of a skyscraper and the sky here i really like it and i just realized that the instagram line here on the bottom should have said um <laughs> it should have said follow digital business on instagram because that's the name of the conference the bb plus right but it's fine we can always go back in and just change the name right question of the day 
have you ever been asked to design a brochure? If not, are you ready to start offering it as part of your design services? Let me know in the comments below. And thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Tijam and I will see you guys in the next video.